Agro Suede and welcome everyone to Agro Suede back in garden with me, Mitchell Juno Suede. In this video feature, we're gonna talk about ophology, ophomology. I'm trying to create a new word, guys, don't judge me. We're actually gonna talk about vermiculture. Well, not really talk about vermiculture, I don't have much knowledge on vermiculture. And as Obama said, you should not really talk much about things you're not too good at. So, I'm going to tell you, I'm trying out vermiculture. I got a few, not a few, but I've got a few right now in the container. I've got a few of worms, but I got some of worms. I'm only seeing three every time, so I don't know what happened to the others. I don't know if they passed away. Hmm, right, I don't know. But anyway, I've got some of worms in a container, and I'm going to feed them, and I want you to see how I actually feed my of worms in the container. And guys, of course, before we continue, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to our YouTube channel. When you press subscribe, there's a bell next to the word subscribe. Press it and select um, email me the notifications or something like that in a little box tick it and then save so that when I upload a video you will be notified on your phone on your computer wherever that I have uploaded a video other than the fact that you know I upload videos either on Friday or Saturdays and on impromptu Tuesday so guys let's go ahead and do this video I guess this is an old coconut stump an old coconut tree basically and what happened because it's getting a lot of sun and rain sun and rain it's breaking down slowly and that gives me the ability to get stuff like this out of it right so I would take this and then I would go and put it in a container where the worms are reproducing growing maturing excreting but what I mainly do with my earth foam basically when they actually consume what's in the container which you'll see I take some of that I'll make like a small trench in my raised bed and I'll put some of that in there which will basically have some earth worms the eggs and so on and I'll cover it with the soil and allow it to become part of the soil it will work because it have the waste from the earth foam it have the eggs in there it have small earth foams in there i ensure that i leave the big earth foams behind i can identify them as soon as i see them but i ensure i leave the big ones behind for them to reproduce possibly i don't know if they're reproducing but the point is that i'm seeing more earth foams in the container so obviously they're reproducing so now let me just take some from here and show you how i do this let's go ahead so these chunky bits i would take them out i'll put them back after because I don't want the chunky bits, I just want the small decomposed bit. There's no earth foam in there, I've looked before. What is a plastic thing right in there? But right, there, there are no foams in here, however there are millipedes in here. Um, so I have to be very careful. I have to be very careful, so I put it in there. But I could also use this as mulch. I could also use it as mulch, but I prefer to feed the earth foams with it. As you can see, um, I feel that no, all this is millipede. Millipede, I'm seeing small insects in there, like here. See, I'm not sure if you can see, but this right here, right here, this right here is a millipede, not an earthworm. There are no earthworms in here, but this is what I do, and I got this right here. And also, I could use this in my plants also because this is basically broken down by the millipedes and this is like waste so they consume like this they consume that and that is the result this black one right here this black bit however i just like to fill it to a foam instead okay guys so this is where i'm doing my vermiculture it's not exactly something that i'm good at it's actually new to me i'm i mean we have earth worms in our raised bed and so on but i decided i'm gonna try the whole idea of vermiculture by having some earth worms in a container feeding it, taking the compost, the, you are not compost, but the, um, the composed material, right? And as you can see, it's so dark. Okay, and this is what we took from the um, trunk of the coconut tree. So as you can see, it's a bit more brown compared to this one right here. Where it's black. If you remember, I did a video where I blend food peeling, which I still do, but I don't actually add it in here. I might, I should maybe start, but I mainly use this for my earthworms you know to get this sort of material and since i have this not abundant sauce but since i have the coconut um, trunk i usually use it and um moringa leaves right here dried moringa leaves now let me see if i can find the earthworm to show you i know that it is in there somewhere i don't want to i don't want to have to shake it because i don't want to dig it and kill the, the big ones where are they i know they're in there somewhere hold on Oh no, they're not here. I'm not seeing them. Ah, where are my children? As you can see, here's an earth worm, you know. This one wasn't here before, I mean. Well, I don't know if it was there, but I mean. Here's another. So, 
whole idea is working out, but I'm looking for the main ones. I've got some massive ones in there. Oh, wow. Come on, don't make me cry. Where are they? Hold on. They are in here somewhere, no? Don't you worry. I'm not crazy. Oh, that's a one. Sorry. Ah, you see? Here it is. Oh, here they are. Okay. I know that's it, but here's the big ones. But I've got some more. They come on, right there. So here they are. Big ones. So I, I'm not sure they're reproducing each other, but this is. Let's see. There are small ones there, but I'm looking for big ones. That might have been them then. So only three or two of them, I don't know what the other one is. Big ones. Oh my. Okay. So it's only this. These guys. This what guys I this male and female. <laughs> so here it is, as you saw. Maybe you didn't sit too well. I know I'm just starting. Give me a break guys. I'm just starting. I'm hoping to get some more massive ones like this to just add to this right here. Okay, nice. So now what I would do, as you saw, you saw them. So if I'm gonna let's say take some to the raised bed, I would do like this. Take a chunk and in that chunk ensure that there's at least an earthworm. Yeah, here's one, here's one right here, and here's another. So I would put this in a trench in the raised bed or the planter and just continue doing this in a cycle so to speak so I usually do this every month yeah I will add this and here's an old one before here's, and this is the coconut house there's another one so this is basically the coconut tree and it breaking that it break down into this so we usually add some of this right here like that Add this in the moringa leaves. Just keep the fellas. And of course, there are holes in the bottom of the container. There are holes, so don't worry. You should definitely ensure there are holes because if you don't, well, it's gonna get waterlogged and possibly kill your earth or any living organisms in there. And no one wants that, do we? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My other YouTube channel is banging. I'm getting notifications so often from my other YouTube channel. I hope you have checked it out. It's called Genos with just a commentary. Um, I'm doing a lot more videos on there because it's quite easy to reaction videos basically so it's much easier to edit and do everything else um, yeah so this is how I feed my earthworms in my little vermiculture going on here so guys I hope that you enjoyed this video feature thank you very much for liking the video and guys don't forget for impromptu Tuesday if there's a video that you saw somewhere in the internet and you think hey you should check this out possibly watch it and then try it let me know so that I could sort of react to it on impromptu Tuesday because I, as I said I'm gonna be quite busy very very busy so I might not be able to do much of the garden videos for two videos a week so from the garden at least so I'm doing one from the garden and then what the videos you send me if I have another video to do or if I get a chance to do one in the garden I will do it but for sure the weekend will be like here in the garden and then on Tuesday which is during the week I will do one reacting to a video in reference to garden agriculture food sustainability recycling water conservation and those th sort of stuff so guys thank you very much remember guys a bucket garden in some ways will definitely keep the doctor away and agro suede is out